Howdy, howdy. So I've never used this stuff. Um, I've used the percolator, but uh, I've tried it before. Not on an open fire, but I've, I've used it inside on the stove. So I'm familiar with percolators. It's not the first uh, rodeo I've, I've been in. Um, well, never been in a rodeo, but I've percolated coffee before. Uh, so anyway, but this is the first time I'm using the wood stove. This is the first time I'm using my mess kit. And so I'm just out here. The other day I came out and uh, I processed up a bunch of wood for said wood stove. I've got a little box of it here. And um, so anyway, I'm here trying to avoid getting stung because there is a jackass um, <laughs> yellow jacket that keeps buzzing me. And uh, I'm out here. I'm First, I'm warming up coffee. Uh, if you're familiar with a with the um, Stanley thermos you're supposed to heat water up and you're supposed to put hot water in it and have hot water in it for like I think like five minutes or something uh, before you use it for actual coffee so um, first I'm gonna get some some water warmed up for that and then we'll get some coffee uh, made up and then after I get the coffee made up then we will uh, then we will make ourselves a a butamis here, uh, Mexican style adobo rice and chicken mountain house meal. And uh, yeah, just setting out here. I got uh, got the grass mowed today, first mowing of the season. So glad to have that done. And uh, now we're just gonna enjoy ourselves some coffee and a little bit of a meal here. And I figured I would let you guys come along for the ride. So, so far though, this stove, I knew I was going to like it. I didn't have to take it out and try it. I, I, I can look at it and say, okay, yep, that's designed the way it needs to be designed for the purpose that it needs to be designed for. So, um, they're excellent little stoves. This one's like an oh hoo hoo or whatever. Uh, I'll see if it's if it's still available. If it is, I'll put a link, you know, down below um, for the stove. The mess kit. Oh my goodness. Um, I wouldn't even know where to begin to look for that. We. I want to say we bought the mess kit off of eBay, and uh, that was right before we started doing shopping on Amazon. And I think we bought the mess kit off of eBay, so chances of me getting that link and chances of it still being available are very slim. Uh, but I think those stoves are available. The uh, Jackass Yellow Jacket is back. Man, get off of me, yo. God. I mean, I'm telling you, this thing is just a pain in the ass, and it loves me for some reason. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm allergic to stings. Pretty sure I'm not, not at least to bees or something. I don't know what the hell it is we ran over. Me and my, uh, me and one of my sons, uh, Brett, was on a four-wheeler. And we ran over the top. It was nighttime. We ran over the top of some kind of a nest. And both of us got just nailed like a ton of times. And neither one of us had any ill effects other than, you know, painful stings. But, uh, yeah, I learned something about, ab about those critters. Um, they see light. And <laughs> so we stopped getting stung as we were running away from the four-wheeler. We stopped getting stung. And then uh, I reached in my pocket to grab my light. And I grabbed my light and turned on my flashlight. And I'll be damned if we didn't start getting hit again. Um, yeah, I didn't realize that that's what they were going to be looking for was the light and so they got us got us again and uh, But we're alive. We made it. I uh, I hope he's doing very well. I hope all my boards are doing well, so That's that's all I can do at this point is hope they're doing well unfortunately, but so anyway We are here. We are this water ought to be about warm enough. Yeah, I would say it's pretty close to warm enough. Let me um, let me pull this off and throw some more logs on the fire. I think it's almost, yeah, let me get something a little bit smaller for that. I'm throwing these big hunks in and it's not quite ready for any big hunks. I don't know if it's quite ever ready for that big of hunks, but uh, came out and processed this the other day. It, it was stuff that came off of the um, trees, of course. So, I might have lost a flame, but that's okay. We'll 
move it around and throw in some smaller stuff. See if we can get her back going again. The wind's been kind of off and on, which the wind actually kind of helps this thing. So, don't want to pile it down with too much. We'll see if that'll get her going again. I'll go ahead and save what we got. Because it is certainly warm enough to at least keep this thing warm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Without a doubt. So you're supposed to fill up a thermos with hot water for like five minutes or so. It's going to be longer than that. But you're supposed to fill it up with hot water so that way it gets everything, I guess, warm on the inside. And because uh, there's vacuum, it uses a vacuum to stay warm. Okay, so got the warm water in there. We're just waiting on more fur. Might have to help that fur out a little bit. I got another Vaseline coated cotton ball here. That's what I used to light it with was Vaseline coated cotton balls because they work well. And that's what I carry in my bug out bag. All this is in my bug out bag except for the percolator. So. Okay. We'll get a little head start on that. Oh no! Oh, I can touch that. Didn't know if it would be too hot to touch. It seems okay to me. Okay, well, I'm going to let this fire get started back up and get my water ready for my coffee. And uh, I will see you all in a bit. Alrighty, I am back. We got our coffee on. We're waiting for it to start percolating. I, um, I did go in and get my pocket bellow to help me out with the flamage because it was uh, giving me a little bit of a fit getting back going. But it's going good now. Um, I do carry this in my bug out bag, the pocket bellow, of course. Um, I carry it all in my bug out bag except for the percolator, of course, except for the Stanley mug, of course. And this coffee canister is just filled with filtered water. So, um, but everything else, the mess kit, the stove, I even have um, three packages of uh, Mountain House in my bug out bag. So, keep all that in my bug out bag. I do keep one of these torch lighters in there just in case. And I have the lighters that I carry on my EDC. Uh, which I've showed you those before. I normally have a Bic in my pocket. I do not have one right now. It's on the desk inside. But here's my Maritac Peanut XL. I always carry that. As well as I always got a ferro rod and striker on my keys. So plenty of ways to start a fire. Man, that stove is just really rocking now. Man, is that doing well. Um, the way that they work is they're designed as they get warm to pull air up through them and through the housing itself and then what that does is it helps gasify that wood see wood gasification it helps gasify that wood and you get a much better more efficient burning flame and so it's working very very well now it's nice to see um, I had it stuffed with a little bit too much uh, wood and the wood was kind of big that I started throwing in there to be honest. So Anyway, I do suspect that it'll start perking here shortly and uh, We'll get the coffee on the road and Then once we got the coffee done I'll dump out what's in the thermos the hot water that's in the thermos put the coffee in the thermos and uh, And then we will start on boiling our water for our yummy yummy mountain house. So I'm actually uh, I'm I'm hungry. It's past my coffee time, yo. I was supposed to have coffee at like 
11.30 is when I make my noontime coffee, and it's like 1.20 from what my watch says. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of behind on the old coffee time. So, anyway, we got a street sweeper because, hey, you know, bushcrafting, you get street sweepers all the time. I'm going to get off here. I will talk to you in a little bit when my coffee is coffeeed, and uh, that way you won't hear this noisy thing go by. So I clearly need to process some wood so it'll burn a little bit better. And I'm sitting here doing it and I'm thinking, man, that ought to be something cool for you guys to see. I do have a little bit of fat wood here that I split up uh, that I'm going to put in there. But uh, <laughs> this is BC Blades Dinner Skinner that I'm processing wood with. And I know it's small chunks of wood. It's dried out, um, pretty well dried out. And uh, the thing of it is, though, man, this thing is a beast. I love this knife. Again, it's a BC Blades Dinner Skinner. And, uh, man, I've had it part of my, my EDC ever since, uh, ever since he first um, sent it to me. It immediately went into my EDC, and I've been carrying it ever since. And uh, this is the first time I've processed wood with it, but um, you know, it's doing it. It's not even, not even batting an eye. Look at that. And the thing took back off again. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, we'll take a hunk of, hunk of a new piece here. Watch this. And this is a pretty, it doesn't feel as uh, light as the other pieces. I mean, <laughs> takes a little doing, but it'll do it. It will most certainly do it. And it's perfect size is wood for that. And I processed this wood with my uh, Corona tooth saw that I keep in my bug out bag. So again, this is all stuff that I carry. So. If I can do it here, I can do it in the bush, yo. Anyway, thought I would uh, show you a little bit of the wood processing. <laughs> Freaking great. I love this knife. It is a beast. Holds an edge like you wouldn't believe. It's a really, really nice knife. So... BC Blades, Dinner Skinner, Wood Processor, All-in-One Multi-Tool Blade. Anyway, let me get back to my making coffee. I haven't even started percolating yet because the flame's been kind of going up and down. So I thought, well, I'll take a bigger piece of wood. I'll process it. Grab a little fat wood to throw in there with it. And uh, should have that. Should have that coffee percolating in no time. So I'll process up these pieces a little bit more here. And uh, I'll get that thing rolling so I can have some coffee. That is awesome. That is awesome. Wish, wish uh, BC well. He'd been dealing with some medical issues. So... Some definite thoughts and prayers his way would be certainly appreciated. I will see you back when I've got some coffee. Welcome back. We are perking now. That's uh, doing pretty good now. It took a little bit to, to get the fire going in it. The reason why is because I was an idiot to begin with. Um, so don't be an idiot to start out and you'll be good. What I did is I just threw some sticks in there. Uh, bark and all to start out with and so what that did is essentially it left a, a lot of unburned fuel at the bottom and it was pretty much stopping the air from being able to go through the uh, the system and so that is what was inhibiting me so let that be a lesson um, go ahead and process wood up like you saw me do earlier go ahead and just do that from the get-go process that wood up and then that way you don't have to spend so much time like I did 
in order to get the thing rolling again. It's it's rolling really nice now. It's it's doing really good. It's got the uh, coffee perking like crazy, and uh, I'm just waiting to see it get to a certain color, and then uh, and then I'll take the coffee off and I'll start a pan of water to be able to make my Mexican style adobe rice and chicken so man am i looking forward to that stuff i'm uh i'm ready to go that's fat wood i'm gonna take that back in but uh that's gonna be my my dinner for all this work i um i am highly impressed with that stove though because it is doing exactly what it's supposed to do and uh, i knew it would I, I didn't have any doubt of that i could look at the design of it i knew it was all going to be good put that wood down in there and you know it's just a matter of don't start out like an idiot like I did because that'll cause you a lot of problems and then just from there once you got it rolling just make sure you keep enough fuel in it make sure you keep that fuel a going and uh, fuel being wood and uh, you'll be good to go you'll be fine so but and then you also have to remember that's nine cups of water there so that's not some one cup of water boiling contest or anything like that that's that's nine cups of water that that had to get get going so it's going now though and it's uh looking like it's getting pretty close to to pulling off the fur so i'm just making sure i got enough wood processed up processed up and ready to go for um for boiling a little bit i only got to boil a cup and a half of water which would be nothing in comparison so just got to boil a cup and a half of water in order to make my meal. And then uh, that would be good to go. I'm just making sure I get some more fuel in there to make sure that it don't go, go limp on me. As I'm trying to get my coffee finished up here. I think we're going to be just fine though. No problemo. Fill that one in there. Sometimes I like to get a little bit taller ones in there so it'll burn up the piece of wood ah not rocket science or nothing but um just a matter of keeping things going but yeah that's where we are at i um just waiting for this to finish perking and it looks like it's getting real close to good there really really close to goodness and that's something you got to get used to too you just got to watch the color of it and then pull it off when uh when it's however you like your coffee mine i don't like it super super cowboy strong or nothing but i do like a good good taste of coffee no doubt about that so it's right about there though it's um i do use a coffee filter in my little perker I use a, a regular coffee filter and I just I just make it to where I can put it in um, and no grounds are going to get down into the coffee or anything like that so that's all I do not really a big deal it's getting like I say it is getting really really close to where I like it so takes a little bit you got to be patient do things the right way like I said don't just throw sticks in that was a big mistake I should have knew better on that, but I thought, well, maybe that thing will burn hot enough that it won't have no problem with the uh, with the bark on the sticks. But yeah, don't do that because it does it does uh, make it a lot lot harder to burn. So anyway, I'm gonna let this finish perking. It's like I say, it's within a short short amount of time of being there, and then uh, I'm gonna heat me up some water for my meal here. And I will speak to you in a bit. All right, there we go. The um, Mexican asobo and rice with chicken. So, gonna munch up on a meal, finish drinking my coffee, and uh, enjoy the outside today. Beautiful day outside. I shall see you all later. Shalom.